I'm here with the ARC 782 Gundam Gold Injection Color from 7-Eleven. Unboxing. So this is a little bit damaged uh, from the way I had to pack on the way over here. Coming back from Japan. So pardon the state of the box. The actual kit inside is fine and dandy. So I've already taken a quick look at this just to make sure everything was okay from the store I bought it from. Inside we have this little... Um, sort of uh, special instruction sheet on some of the extra parts that come with this. Its own version of the, I believe this is the Gundam Spear, but I'm not sure what the actual name of this version is. And um, its own modified shield that it has this, I think it's smaller or has a flat um, star. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is there. Inside we've got, uh, yeah, looks like we have just the one shield so not exactly sure what the difference is there uh, let's take a look at it in the manual the manual just no it goes over the building of the shield huh wonder what the difference is there if they're just different runners or no a44 and b1 and a40 b145 that's the difference it must be a flat um, cross piece. Let's take a look at the runners. Um, don't see where the actual difference is. Yep, it is its own runner, so it must be a different version of the cross. Because I won't be doing a lot of these 7-Eleven decals at specifically, simply because I don't like the look of those on the kit, it's unlikely that I'll actually do those. Do this version of the shield. Uh, I might do it just to see how it looks. So, this kit is actually the 35th anniversary version of the RX-78 II. This one um, has a little bit of a step-by-step -step guide on how to do things. But this also includes a marking seal guide, which I'm not sure... Yes, this one does have the um, decal sheets for the ARC-78-2 Gundam uh, anniversary version. So this is also post-Odaiba, so this is also, uh, so I believe this is the G-Front version, so we're, uh, with the details. So it also comes with a mini Amuro Ray and a little base uh, for this one. If, uh, because it comes with the version gift box. It may not come with the base in this kit though, since this is the 7-Eleven version. Not sure, but it definitely comes with the mini Amuro. I did inspect that, trying to figure out which version this was. So I will show that to you guys when I find him. So, let's start with, ah, uh, here, on the legs. So I'll start with this runner. So, get this decal sheets out. So this is, I think, the yeah, the 35th anniversary version of the runner. Let's see if I can't get the camera to focus on this properly. That is the problem with this. Here we go. This is the happy medium. So this is just um, the Gundam 35th anniversary version uh, decals. So these aren't too bad. I'll probably actually use these on this kit simply because I like these. Um, I'm only probably going to use these stickers, however, because I'm not a huge fan of the 7-Eleven custom stickers, but I love the color. So here we've got all the different hands and the different hand covers in this beautiful metallic inner frame. Uh, here we have this absolutely amazing gold color for the darker parts that would be normally red on the actual kit. The yellow and white is molded in this lighter gold. And we've got the regular backpack and standard pieces in this still gray metallic color. So that's the majority of the inner frame. Let me get my Zaku Gundam scissors out to cut open these harder plastic bags that I had to use uh, in model clips, uh, the side cutters for.
So inside we have the chain for the Gundam hair, the poly cap sheet, which if I remember correctly we use almost all of, our tiny Amuro Ray pilot, which I will be painting up, maybe in, even in a tutorial video, not sure, um, maybe running low on some of my paints and markers, our leg and uh, forearms pieces, um, Interestingly enough, we have two sets of the legs, which I'm not exactly sure why, but I think it may have something to do with um, the fact that this runner isn't printed with the armor array. I'm not sure actually what the reasoning is here, because we now have two entire sets of legs and several sets of the forearms. So. I honestly have zero idea why they molded this runner. Um, runner D seems to be completely extra and have zero use. This may be entirely because of the 7-Eleven custom colors, since, since these are more out and these are more in. Um, it's all highly likely because of this custom kit. It's going to be a lot of wasted plastic with this one, unfortunately. The Gundam... Beam Sabers actually are molded with the holes, however we do get a toothpick Gundam uh, Beam Saber, so I will see actually if these hold a typical uh, standard sized Beam Saber. Give me one second to get the one that I had set aside over here. So it looks like this hole is going to fit the regular standard sized Beam Saber. So that's probably what I'll be displaying it with and probably not even paint this uh, toothpick and maybe be, maybe even use that as an actual toothpick because that is terrible. I hate those. Um, otherwise, we have the regular shield, the rest of the Gundam parts that are normal, and the waist units pieces and shoulders. This runner is minted in this also just regular gray, actually, for this one. So this is all the equipment and guns. We've got all these this, these beautiful parts for the Gundam hand, Hammer, the uh, heavy bazooka, and the beam rifle on this. And on this, we have the sign and the flat. I was actually correct about this. The flat version of this uh, Gundam shield piece. I will pretty much not be using this runner. Um, I may use this to make a modified version of a staff or something later, uh, maybe even uh, do a complete uh, from scratch sh uh, extra kind of extended shield type thing for this. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, maybe even make an extended beam saber. <laughs> uh, that'd be a good use of my parts, some of these extra parts that I'm using. So. Going over this, it only talks about these two runners, so it looks like there's custom parts to everything. So this is the custom decaling sheet um, for the G-Front exclusive stuff and all this. So unfortunately, we'll have to use this for some of the decaling. So uh, in the actual runner itself, if I can read this guide properly, where is it? Here it is. Uh, yes, it looks like there was, um, for the 35th anniversary version, they just cut off the base and left the armor over there. Actually significantly disappointed about that. That would have been nice to have for this version, for display. But they do not include that here. So we get the beam saber and all of its equipment, but this will be nice to have for display anyways. Would have really loved uh, the gold base, but Bandai does not want us to have that. They want us to waste a lot of other plastic. All right, whatever. So this is the high grade 7-Eleven custom. Uh, kind of the reason I didn't end up getting the, um, at G front, the P Bandai uh, or G-Front exclusive uh, Gundam gift version. Uh, did not realize these were actually significantly different kits, or else I might have 
pick that up as well since it was only 1600 yen or about 16 bucks. I'll see if I can't find it online. But the gold custom for the Gundam. Actually pretty sure that this is pretty similar colors to the RX-78-9, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Do not quote me. Uh, I'll actually look that up. If not, I may put a, um, uh, set, uh, do some custom decaling on this with some of the extra decals I have and make this its own little slightly custom kit because this is not a custom kit at all. Maybe do a serial number that's 78-9 on the shoulder or something. Who knows? Haven't decided yet, but I probably won't end up doing that actually. All right. Talk to you guys later.